Hello everyone, my name is Engineer Hachyan Zafar. Today we are discuss about pressure drawdown test, reservoir limit test and interference test. So let's start it. What is pressure drawdown test? The difference between the reservoir pressure and the flowing wellbore pressure which drive fluid from reservoir into wellbore, the difference between these two pressure is called pressure drawdown test. What is the objective of pressure drawdown test? Number one, average permeability within drainage area of around the well. Number two, skin factor, damage or improve. Number three, Determine pore volume. Number four, reservoir homogeneities with drainage area of the reservoir. What is procedure of pressure drawdown? There are three major steps. Step one, shut the well for period of time to equalize the pressure throughout the reservoir. Number two, pressure equipment, electronic gauges, is lowered into the well to measure pressure from bottom to top of well. Step 3. When flow begun at constant rate and the bottom hole pressure measured continuously. What is the advantage of drawdown test? No loss of flow due to shutting of the well during test time. It means producing while testing. Number two, it determines the boundaries of the reservoir. Number three, it is particularly applicable for new wells or wells that have been closed for a long time. After advantages of drawdown test, now we discuss about disadvantages of drawdown test. It is difficult to achieve the well flow at constant rate. It does not determine the average reservoir pressure. In order to get accurate analysis of drawdown, it is critical that no choke change during the test. Pressure drawdown test is noisy test. This is all advantages, disadvantages, how we proceed the pressure drawdown test. So now let start the reservoir limit test. We need to know what is reservoir limit test. During reservoir limit test, the rate of production held constant and the bottom hole flowing pressure is measured. This is reservoir limit test. What is the objective of reservoir limit test? Establish well hydrocarbon volume constant Number two, constant flow rate. Number three, reservoir limit reached. Number four, pressure drop linearly with time. Number five, semi steady state response used to estimate wells hydrocarbon volume. What is interference test? Interference test is one form of multiple well testing. These tests are done to find the two or more wells are in pressure communication in the same reservoir and at which point communication exists between the wells and estimate the vertically formation, permeability and porosity. Let's discuss procedure of conducting the interference test. Procedure of conducting the interference test for conducting the interference test in the reservoir two or more than two wells. One well is observation well and other two, three, four, it depends on the job nature. Other wells is active well. What is observation well? One well called observation well in which pressure variation is observed by changing the normal production rate of active well 
or transmitter wells. So for conducting the interference test in a reservoir, the pressure recorder lower down into the observation well which called which he was closed after achieving the constant rate of production due to variation of flow rate of production in which well pressure impulse will be created in the observation well. After the interference test is complete, the pressure recorder pull out from the well the change in pressure with time is determined from the interruption of pressure chart. So let's discuss what is the advantage of interference test. Number one, to determine the drainage area around the observation well. Number two, to optimize proper well space during field development stages for oil and gas exploration. Number three, degree of intercommunication between the well barrier fault pinch point between the observation and active wells. Number four, degree of formation thickness. Number six, sharp variation in hydroconductivity of per professional fluid patterns. Number six, degree of intercommunication between the wells. So today we discuss three type of test. So in next video we are remaining test types and finish the topic and go out the surface well testing layout and equipment functions. So thank you so much.